For the next project, we're going to be doing a project based on flowers. Now, depending on which way we go with it, there's a couple different kinds of projects that we could be doing. Um, however, at the beginning here, I wanted to do a little cross-section of what a flower looks like so that everyone kind of has a, uh, the same footing as to how a flower is put together and the basic botany and anatomy of a flower. So basically, if this is a flower, this is you know a cut in half cross section of a flower. So on the bottom, there's the stem. Okay, and you all know what that is. That's what holds the flower up. And then there's the sepala here, which is basically the green, usually green, um, little part that holds all of the stuff inside the flower before it opens up and blooms. Then inside the sepala is everything else, all of this other stuff, um, the petal, which is what usually gives a flower its colors, you know, very bright, um, usually attracts the butterflies, bees, other insects, and other birds that may do the pollination. Um, and then within the rest of it comes the stamen, um, which is part of the pistil. The pistil is kind of like all of the stuff to, together, the stigma, the style, and the ovary, which is all of the stuff that makes the pollen which is the stuff that uh, germinates more flowers next year. It also um, provides sweet stuff um, so that the bees, other insects, um, and birds come to pollinate. And then once the, the insect leaves one flower and goes to the next, it cross-pollinates and then creates the seeds for the flowers for next year. And of course, all of that works because of the photosynthesis, which is where the sun is creating the energy and the sun rays come down towards the plant and the plant changes the sun rays into energy and therefore then can grow the flower. So this is the basic kind of layout for pretty much all flowers. And the flowers that we're gonna learn how to draw today all follow this same kind of um, layout. However, each one of them has different looking petals, different looking stem, different looking sepala, so that they have a different unique feel to the specific flower. But all of the same botany and all of the same plant parts are the same, okay? Once uh, we get started here, you're gonna need one piece of 60 pound paper, and you're gonna start by folding it in half the hamburger way. and then fold it in half the hot dog way here or rather the hamburger way and you've got your paper then divided into four sections one two three four fold it back up into a small square so that you just have one section to work with and then please write your name neatly my name's Mr. Lundgren right and then write your grade and then write your teacher's name, your homeroom teacher. Okay, maybe that's Mr. Wired, maybe it's um, Mrs. Boris. Depends on what your teacher is, but write your teacher's name, the grade you're in, and your own name at the top. And once you get this started, look towards me, and we'll start drawing our first flower together. <laughs> 